Happy Tuesday, Hanalo Sycamore. We are Aviator Airways crew, and today is January 30th, 2024. I'm Peter. And hello, I'm Alex. Work hard, study your notes, do your homework, and be an active learner in every classroom, every club, every sport, and every activity you do. Soar Sycamore with PBIS expectations. Be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be a problem solver. Now it's time for our PBIS respectful and stand for our fellow aviators as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Congratulations to the following wrestlers for placing at the Fairfield Invitational. Anthony Campbell placed fourth. Luca Herrera and Quinton Pletz placed third. Gabe Joyner placed second. And Julian Hemphill placed first. Sycamore Robotics. Congratulations and a special shout out to the Pixel Piranhas for earning the Judges' Choice Award trophy given to a team whose unique efforts, performance, or dynamics merit recognition over all other teams participating. High fives to the Pixel Piranhas. Liam G. Rashan G, Liam N, Abby R, Nathan P, Gautam R, Ishtia S, Arif S, and Ario S. Way to go, Sycamore Robotics. Way to achieve your team goals, and can't wait to see what you do next. Boys interested in playing tennis this spring. There will be an informational meeting during Flix on Friday, February 2nd, in the auxiliary gym. If you would like to attend to receive important information and ask questions, please pick up a pass before the meeting sometime this week from Coach Andriola in room 22530 or Coach Meyer in the gym. First Robotics, sign up and check the team schedule in your school email to let us know if, you, if we can depend on you for these week's tournament goals. Now a special message from our track coach, Mr. Hunter. Hey Sycamore, it's Coach Hunter and we're about three weeks out from the beginning of track and field season and the informational meeting is going to be held February 14th, February 1st in the auxiliary gym and if you can't make it to the meeting please let me know and send me an email at hunterje at sycamoreschools.org and I will get you the needed information. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Thanks Mr. Hunter and an important message from our school leaders. Any student who, who attends this meeting is expected to report directly to his or her flexible teacher to check in. Report to directly to the aux auxiliary gym and return directly to flex following the meeting. Any, any student athlete who is unable to follow these directions or attends this meeting with no intention of joining track will face disciplinary action. Go Aves! The 21st Annual Student to Student Forum is tonight from 7 to 8.30 p.m. at the Sycamore High School Room, 1809. This Friday, February 2nd, is the Choir Variety Show at 7 p.m. in the High School Auditorium. February 6th is Family Teacher Conferences. February 19th, we do not have school in honor of President's Day. Plan ahead. March 1st is Culture Night from 6 to 8 p.m. And March 2nd is Pancake Day. Next, Next up, up, Students of the Week. Hey everybody, Mrs. Shunk here. I'm excited to introduce you to our students of the week. So we are celebrating the fact that of how responsible our students are. Um, this is Kendall. She was nominated by Mr. Jones. Why do you think you were nominated by Mr. Jones? Um, because I'm always ready to learn and I'm very organized. That's awesome. Congratulations, Kendall. Thank you. And we have um, Jameson. Jameson was nominated by Mrs. Jarvis. Mrs. Jarvis is here with us, and Mrs. Jarvis says that Jameson is always in the news crew room and always helping out. Jameson, do you want to add anything to that? Not really. I mean, I'm always here. So. You're always here. You show up. You're on time. You're responsible. Could be the main reason the announcements are still getting out. Okay. Okay. So he's an integral part of making sure that you guys get your announcements every day. And Sandro was nominated by Mr. James, your English teacher. Yeah. yeah, why do you think Mr. James nominated you for being responsible? I honestly don't know. Okay. Um, it might be because I I raised my uh, 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 hand up. 
Yeah. So he says he raises his hand often in class and makes sure that he's respectful and responsible always. And Casey. Casey, congratulations. You were nominated by Mrs. Kennedy. Why do you think Mrs. Kennedy nominated you? I always come into the room and do exactly what's on the board. And when uh, she's talking, I always make sure to pay attention yeah. to that. Those are awesome. You guys, thank you for being such responsible students. We are proud to recognize you. Casey, here's your gift card. And Sandra. Oh, I'm sorry. And Jamie's, I'm sorry. I got you guys. You. Guys, happy week. Happy good one. Um, go Sycamore Reeves. Thanks, Mrs. Shunk, and wow. Congratulations to our students of the week. Athletes, Athletes of, of the week. week. Good afternoon, Aviators. Mr. Stern here to do this week's Athletes of the Week. Um, but before we begin, uh, just kind of a, a recap. Um, we are rounding out the season in winter sports. Uh, we've got some basketball games today. Uh, today would be Monday. That's the day that we're filming. And we have games on Tuesday. And then we are all GMC mode as we've got some... some uh, big things that we're looking for uh, coming up in the future. Uh, we've got four basketball tournaments that begin on Saturday. Two of our teams, the seventh grade girls and the eighth grade girls, are both going into the tournament as number one seeds. Um, but we really think that any of our teams, boys or girls, um, have a chance to win the GMC tournament. So that should be very exciting. Again, that kicks off on Saturday and then resumes uh, next week on Tuesday, Thursday, and then the finals would be the following Saturday. Um, but today I am here with Jonah Bates, and you were nominated by Coach Pouncey, correct? Yep. And uh, he is one of our seventh grade basketball players. And Mr. Pouncey says that you have improved immensely over the course of the season. Uh, you are the toughness of the team. And the thing that he really likes is that you are always ready when your number is called. And when it is not, you're on the bench cheering your teammates with great energy incredibly important and uh, he is very proud to name Jonah the seventh grade boys green basketball athlete of the week so clap 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 clap, clap, clap. Jonah you are right up your certificate yeah. put on the refrigerator and go get some Chick-fil-A on us so congratulations Jonah Thank fantastic you. and our second athlete of the week this is Finn Sedgwick, and uh, if you've ever seen the, you know, with uh, Groundhog Day coming up this week, um, this feels a little bit like Groundhog Day the movie, because in that movie, uh, he has to relive the same day. We're not exactly reliving the same day, but I feel like we've done this before. Have yeah. we done this before? Yeah, so Finn was an athlete of the week for soccer, and some of you might be thinking, well, how come the same person gets to be Athlete of the Week? Well, these are two very distinct coaches that are seeing something in Finn, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't can't be, a, well, we've already done him. We should continue to recognize the great things that Finn is doing. And he's doing some great things on eighth grade basketball. And Coach Teet says, Finn brings a tremendous attitude and work ethic to practice each day. Plays extremely hard and never hesitates to get after a loose ball. He leads by example and helps out his teammates in a variety of ways. Finn does many things to help teams, such as scoring, getting others involved, and playing great defense. He is a very smart player also. He takes care of the ball, and he's always in the right spot. It is a pleasure having Finn on the 8th grade green team this year. Congratulations, Finn. Thank Twice you. around. So are you doing anything in the spring? No. Ah, so this, this, come, this is it, huh? Yeah. We're not going to see you in the spring as well. So here's your write-up, your certificate, Thanks. and again, enjoy some Chick-fil-A on Thank us. You. Congratulations, Finn. Those are our Athletes of the Week. Thanks, Mr. Stern, and wow, congratulations to our Athletes of the Week and the Students of the Week. Way to represent our school. Now over to a special group with a special announcement. Hello, we are the girls' city champion swim team. The junior high swimming and diving team competed in the Greater Cincinnati Junior High School Swim Slash Dive League Championships on Friday, January 19th and Saturday, January 20th. Our girls' team had a successful meet, placing first overall in the large team division, beating second place finishers Mason by 30 points. Our team worked hard all season and had numerous personal best times and scores throughout the meet. For our top three finishers, in first place we have Ava S. with her 50 breaststroke and Claire T. with diving. For second place we have Ella R. with 25 freestyle, Jordan L. with 25 breast butterfly, Anna L. with 25 breaststroke, 
Addie with H with 25 backstroke and Janie R with diving. And last but not least with third place, we have Peyton G with 25 breaststroke, Sophia S with 100 freestyle, and Sage D with 100 breaststroke. Birthdays. Birthdays! Happy birthday to oh. students celebrating today are Zachary B and Liam T. Have a great birthday. Mm. Hope you all have a wonderful birthday celebrating your special day with family and friends. Now over to Holden and Kara for the joke of the day. What do sprinters eat before they race? What? Nothing, they fast. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious! Ha ha. Well, that's all, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day, follow our PBI expectations, and go A's!